when you were watching Taylor last night, you realized there was a football game on also. I don't know that I'm buying it. I don't either. It's never been shot. There was a kiss between Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift that sealed the deal for the Kansas City Chiefs victory on Monday night. As a result of their victory over the New Orleans Saints by a score of 2-3-6 on Monday Night Football, the team that won the Super Bowl in the past has maintained their perfect record for the current season. After missing the Chiefs' previous two games, the tight end made his return to Arrowhead for the Pop Superstars blockbuster game. He hauled in nine receptions for 70 yards, and the couple demonstrated that their relationship is still going strong as they basked in the celebratory atmosphere in Kelsey's VIP suite. The Alice couple celebrated their victory in week five with a public display of affection that included new footage showing Kelsey and Swift enjoying an intimate moment. After the NFL star cleaned up in the locker room and made his way to reunite with the songstress, one of the most recent videos to surface on social media, the Fortnite singer and three-time winner of the Super Bowl was seen standing next to the windows of the laundry box with Travis Kelsey's father, Ed Kelsey, um, who was wearing the jersey that his son had worn. The hit maker for the anti-hero song could then be seen pulling her end elbow in for a tender kiss before he embraced her in a tight hug. In the midst of their friends and family members mingling around them and basking in the triumphant Atman atmosphere, the couple clung to one another and swayed back and forth. There was yet another brief video of the couple that was uploaded to TikTok in the early Early hours of Tuesday morning. This video appeared to show Kelsey and Taylor Swift Housey ending a conversation with Ed Taylor's father in the suite. The Chiefs game that Swift attended on Monday night was the first one she had attended in more than two weeks. Not only did she not attend his 35th birthday celebration on Saturday night, but she also skipped the last two road games against the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Chargers, despite the fact that she was not performing on tour. That evening, Kelsey was the host of a charity event called his annual car jam, which served as a fundraiser for his 87 and running foundation. However, she was back with a bang on Monday night when she accompanied her father Scott to watch the Chiefs defeat Derek Carr and the Saints. Swift made a grand entrance wearing a Vivian Westwood ensemble that was both glamorous and edgy. A pair of my high checkered black boots completed Swift's ensemble, which consisted of a burgundy tartan draped corset top and matching skirt from the British designer. The top and skirt cost a total of $1,875 each. It is currently unknown when the Grammy Award winner, who has won the award 14 times, will make her next appearance on a game day at this time. During the time that she's getting back to her own business, the Chiefs will have a bye the following week before returning to action on October 20th against the San Francisco 49ers, who may defeat it in an overtime victory in the Super Bowl in February. While this is going on, Taylor Salarier will resume her ear tour the following Friday in Miami, and Kelsey will be able to attend because he is scheduled to take time off. Not only did Swift celebrate the victory with her boyfriend, who is a close friend of hers, but she also toasted the victory with her other friends who are close to her. After the game, the singer made an appearance on the Instagram story of Chariah Gordon, who is the partner of Mel Hardman, who is Kelsey's teammate. There was a picture of Swift performing on her Iris tour in the background, and Gordon asked her what she thought of the victory. Swift appeared to be in Kelsey's suite. Gordon asked her what she thought of the victory. In contrast, it is essential that you provide an answer to the question this time. Before Gordon continued, Swift stated, I believe that we are feeling really good about this week. We share five to zero as of right now. Prior to agreeing with Gordon and stating that the victory was ideal, Swift made a brief interjection before going into a bye week. Kelsey's girlfriend, who was referred to as perfect, then made a reference to the photograph of her that was behind her. During the time that Swift was pointing at it and apologizing to me, she moved to the side and allowed Gordon to zoom in on the situation. The brief video, which Gordon captioned, featured Kelsey in the background. Kelsey was visible in the background. You will be seen after the bye. Fans were the ones who first noticed the, the A's poster while they were on a tour of Erica during the NFL offseason. The Swifties immediately interpreted it as another indication of the strength of a relationship on the field. Despite having a rough beginning to the season, Kelsey continued to show signs of improvement by accumulating nine receptions for a total of 70 yards. His performance was particularly impressive in protest watch during the first half of the game, but after the break, the Saints did a better job of keeping things close. Late in the second quarter, Kelsey even threw a lateral pass to Sage Perna, which turned out to be a major talking point for his team after the team's over. He shoved it underhanded across the entire field, despite the fact that I had told him before the play that I was going to throw it to you so that we could get into field goal range. I am shaking my head because of this information. It is almost as if I am conversing with Sterling. In reference to his daughter, Travis, who is three years old, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes explained after the game, that's Travis and man, the fact that he is a special player means that as long as he continues to do it and it is successful, no one is going to criticize him. This is how Taylor Swift celebrated the Kansas City Chiefs' fifth consecutive victory of the current 
NFL season. Swift was in attendance at the Kansas City Chiefs' most recent game. She was there to show her support for her boyfriend. When it comes to celebrating her boyfriend Travis Kelsey's victory on Monday, October 7th, Taylor Swift certainly has her own special ways of doing things. During the game between Kelsey's Kansas City Chiefs and the New Orleans Saints, which took place at Arrowhead Stadium, the singer performing Shake It Off was seated in the stands. Following the remarkable victory, which was the fifth consecutive victory for the team in the current NFL season, Swift celebrated in the VIP suite alongside Chara Gordon, who is engaged to Neil Hardman Jr., who is a wide receiver for the Chiefs. A video of their conversation was uploaded to Gordon's Instagram account in which she inquired about the pop star's reactions to the victory. Rather, it is essential that you provide an answer to the question. This time, Swift made a joking remark about how she had placed her hand on Gordon's shoulder while simultaneously holding her beverage in the other hand. This occurred while Gordon was expressing her thoughts on the wind. With this victory, I have the impression that we are feeling really good. After all, we are five. Gordon remarked and Swift responded by saying that she was gonna go into a bye. The Maroon singer chimed in and said, perfect is the word in response to Gordon's description of the perfect way to enter the wedding. While Gordon was recording herself, Swift's poster was displayed behind them. Meanwhile, Gordon was recording herself towards the end of the performance. The singer at long last became aware of the poster and she made a lighthearted acknowledgement of it, apologizing for having photobothered bombed. In addition, Gordon captioned the Instagram story with the phrase, see you guys after the bye before the win. Swift arrived at the Monday night football game wearing a minnerse with a shade of red and brown and carrying a handbag designed by Vivian Westwood. Swift has been a consistent supporter of the Kansas City Chief ever since she began dating the co-host of the New Heights podcast in July, 2023. Kelsey has never missed an opportunity to show her appreciation for Swift support by attending her era's tour concerts and showing her support from the stands. In one of the shows, he even made an onstage cameo appearance as one of the extras assisting her with costume change prior to the performance of I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. Meanwhile, Travis Kelsey brother Jason has expressed his positive reaction to Taylor Swift's twin and at the football game. During the game that took place on Monday at Arrowhead Stadium between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New Orleans Saints, the senior ward this observed with an attendance. Jason Kelsey made a comment on a video of Taylor arriving at the game where his brother and Travis, Taylor's boyfriend, were playing. The comment was made over the video of the singer's arrival. Hey, take a look at that right now. It looks really good, Jason said. Taylor wore a matching skirt and shirt set by Vivian Westwood that featured a plaid pattern, and she paired it with a heart-shaped purse as a coordinating accessory. She looked as stunning as she always does, but applying her signature red lip earlier in the day, she completed her look. On X, Jason announced that he was going to attend the football game. He wrote that he was going to enter the Kansas City tailgate scene before the game today, and that he was most likely going to hit lot C and D. I am looking for a tailgater shaman who can show me the ropes this afternoon. Alternatively, does anyone have any suggestions for things that I need to hit? Taylor, who typically cheers on her partner from the stands, had missed the last two Chiefs games, which included victories over the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Chargers, in order to make up for her absence. Fans are under the impression that the singer was trying to convey a message by dressing in a way that was romantic. One person wrote on social media, I just love everything about Taylor's outfit, while another person wrote the glitter and the outfit. I am unable to breathe. You, Taylor Swift, you're so sheen and lovely to look at. Fans are under the impression that Taylor and Travis are engaged as a result of the singer team sharing a number of posts that fans found to be suspicious. Taylor Nation, the artist's team, has shared posts that include a new merchandise collection called the Greatest in the League Collection. This collection may be a reference to the alchemy and possibly Travis Kelsey as well. Swifty made the observation that there have been a number of additional hidden signs, one of which was a post on X by Taylor Nation in response to a fan's comment about the merchandise. Taylor Nation replied, we said yes to this set and added a wedding ring emoji. I'm convinced they're engaged, claimed one excited fan, and on X, someone who reacted to Taylor Nation's yes post replied, excuse me, you said what a second comment is what Depp Bay knew what they were doing. Another fan wrote a totally normal and not at all so's response, and someone added, I know it's a Twitter trend, but the winking and nodding is just hilarious. 